everyone. First of all, I just wanted to thank you for submitting all your questions. This is the first ever Royal Central question and answer period. Uh, we've had a huge response and I'm just very excited about this. So today's questions are going to be solely based on Queen Elizabeth. Starting with our first one. Our first one comes from Florence Rybar, and I apologize if I'm not pronouncing your name correctly. Her question is, what is the Queen's favorite food, meal, and dessert? So according to her former chef, Dara McGrady, her favorite meal is normally something of grilled meat. Uh, she loves sole. She's also known for eating Gaelic steak or a filet steak with a mushroom whiskey sauce. Uh, she normally has two vegetables or some salad. She stays away from carbohydrates. I mean, she's had some very large ancestors, so she's probably trying to, you know, not have that on her historical background. Um, she also is a chocolate-holic, so she is like the rest of us. She loves her chocolate. Uh, one of her favorites would be the chocolate perfection pie. So our next question comes from Jeffrey Tumber. And he is asking, how do I request a telegram or message from Her Majesty on our 60th wedding anniversary? Well, first of all, congratulations on 60 years. That's huge. Very exciting. My grandparents also just celebrated the same. And you can go to apply.royal.gov.uk and there's a form there and you can apply for your anniversary messages and you can also apply for milestone birthday messages. So our next question will be from Horso, and he is asking, is Her Majesty close with both Princess Margaret's children? So Princess Margaret has two children, Lady Sarah Chattel, as well as David Armstrong Jones, Viscount Lindley. So um, she, yes, the answer is yes, she is very close with them. Lady Ch Sarah Chatto actually spoke in a BBC documentary just recently called Elizabeth at 90, a family tribute for Queen Elizabeth's 90th birthday. It's reported that they get along very great. It's said that the Queen actually is reminded of her late sister, Princess Margaret, and Lady Sarah. So they're often seen laughing together and they're very close. And in 2012, Queen Elizabeth actually named David Armstrong Jones's son. Uh, he was made the Queen's Page of Honor. So the ceremonial, ceremonial role that he's took on involves holding the long train of Her Majesty on formal occasions, such as the state opening of Parliament. Uh, he's also recently uh, joined the Queen and Prince Philip in the royal carriage at uh, day out in the Royal Ascot this past year. Uh, our next question is from Deborah Gilbert, and she asks, how often does Her Majesty get to ride her horses? Does she have a favorite horse, and why is that her favorite? So Her Majesty has had many horses throughout her lifetime. Uh, one of the first ones that she ever had was Peggy, which was a Shetland pony from her father, and it was given to her and Princess Margaret, and that really started her love of horses. She rode a horse named Burmese for 18 years for Trooping the Colour. Uh, in the 1950s, she also rode a black mare named Betsy, and that was one of her favourites. And now she rides another black mare named Carlta Lima Emma. And uh, she rides them every chance she gets, but she's admitted that, you know, she is 90 now, so she's no more of a fair weather rider because she doesn't like getting cold and wet. Elizabeth comes from Jean Francis Pelon, and he is asking where does the Queen keep her jewelry? Where is the vault, and is there any pictures of it? So, her personal collection is rumored to be in a room 40 feet below Buckingham Palace in the size of an ice rink. Now, that's only rumors, and she has over 300 pieces, so yes, it would have to be a very large room, but she has another collection which would be the British Crown Jewels. Now those are not actually her own by her and it's part of the royal collection and it's just held in trust by the Queen and for herself and for her successors and for the nation and those can be viewed at the Tower of London. Well thank you very much everybody. Those were great questions about Queen Elizabeth. Our next video will be about Queen Elizabeth and what happens when she either passes away 
or she decides to abdicate from the throne and who will take over from her. We've had lots and lots of questions about that, so that'll be a great video. Thank you very much, and we'll see you soon.